Hello, and welcome to a journey through ancient texts, divine mysteries, and earthly sagas. Today, we unravel the enigmatic tales of the Nephilim, these towering figures shrouded in celestial intrigue. As we peel back the layers of time and scripture, we'll explore who these beings were, how they influenced the myths and cultures of old, and why their story resonates through millennia. So let's embark on this profound exploration of the Nephilim, gods among us. Our story begins with a puzzling passage hidden within the early chapters of Genesis, nestled between the lines of more familiar narratives. These verses briefly mention the sons of God, seeing the beauty of human women and choosing them as wives, and their offspring, the Nephilim, the mighty men of old, men of renown. This cryptic mention raises many questions. Who exactly were these sons of God? Why are their offspring highlighted in the sacred texts? The intrigue surrounding these celestial beings and their earthly descendants sets the stage for our exploration. To understand the sons of God, we delve into the biblical and extra-biblical texts where these entities appear. In Hebrew, they are referred to as Benai Elohim, a term often used to denote lesser divine beings within the spiritual hierarchy. This concept is not unique to the Hebrew scriptures, but is echoed in the divine assemblies of other ancient Near Eastern cultures, such as the Canaanite and Mesopotamian pantheons. These beings, who tread the line between the divine and the mundane, offer a fascinating glimpse into the theological worldview of ancient societies where the heavens frequently interfaced with the human realm. The Nephilim themselves, described as giants or the fallen ones, occupy a particularly unique niche within this narrative. Their description as formidable men of renown suggests beings of extraordinary power and presence whose stories might have been told and retold across generations. Like the heroes of Greek and Roman myth, these figures blur the boundaries between God and man, imbued with a might that suggests a divine heritage. Yet their legacy is marred by their origins and the eventual divine disapproval of their very existence. The narrative of the Nephilim and their divine parents reflects a broader cultural context, wherein such hybrid beings were not merely mythological curiosities but integral to the religious and mythological fabric of the society. In ancient Israel, the tales of the Nephilim might have served multiple purposes, explaining the origins of various tribes and giants mentioned throughout the Old Testament, and integrating the Israelite culture into the broader mythological landscape of the Near East, where demigods and divine heroes abounded. This integration, however, was not without its theological tensions. The Israelites, guided by their monotheistic belief in a singular, all-powerful God, found themselves at odds with the surrounding polytheistic cultures that celebrated the exploits of their own demigods and divine heroes. The biblical authors, therefore, faced a delicate balance, acknowledging the captivating tales of powerful beings like the Nephilim while reinforcing the theological and moral tenets of their own faith. This is perhaps why the story of the Nephilim is so brief and laden with caution, serving as a prelude to the flood narrative which resets the moral compass of humanity according to divine will. Ancient scrolls and tablets laid out on a stone table, inscribed with cuneiform and hieroglyphs, painted in a palette of ivory and ochre against a backdrop of total black. Fine, art painting in contemporary style. Top-down angle. Light highlighting the scripts. As we compare the Nephilim to figures from other ancient myths, the titans of Greek mythology, the Anunnaki of Sumerian lore, or the giants of Norse sagas, we see a common motif, 
The blending of divine and human elements often leads to catastrophe, reflecting perhaps a universal human caution against the hubris of reaching beyond our grasp. Each culture brings its own nuances to these tales, but the core message often remains a warning against the excesses of ambition and pride. In the biblical narrative, the story of the Nephilim sets the stage for the flood, a divine response to the unchecked corruption and violence that their presence signifies. This not only provides a theological rationale for the cataclysm, but also aligns with the broader narrative arc of Genesis, where human disobedience and divine judgment are recurring themes. The flood washes away the old world, and with it, the Nephilim, resetting the narrative stage for a new moral order under Noah and his descendants. Following the flood, the biblical text does not forget the Nephilim. Their legacy continues to echo throughout the Old Testament, as they are mentioned again in the context of the giants that the Israelites encounter in the Promised Land. This enduring mention suggests a lingering fascination with these figures, a mix of awe and fear that continues to captivate the imagination of the reader. Their story, though rooted in ancient texts, finds resonance in modern times as well. The Nephilim have become a fixture in contemporary culture, appearing in books, movies, and other forms of media, often reimagined as heroes or villains in epic sagas that mirror the grandeur and tragedy of their biblical origins. This modern fascination reflects a continued collective intrigue with the idea of beings that embody both the divine and the human, challenging our perceptions of morality, power, and the divine. In the end, the tale of the Nephilim is more than just an ancient myth. It is a narrative that challenges us to reflect on our own beliefs about the divine, heroism, and the human condition. It invites us to ponder the complexities of divine intervention and human agency and the ever-present tension between them. As we close this chapter on our exploration of the Nephilim, we are reminded of the power of myths and legends to shape cultures, influence beliefs, and inspire storytelling across generations. Thank you for joining me on this profound journey into the past, exploring a narrative woven into the fabric of human history. The stories of the Nephilim, though shrouded in the mists of time, continue to offer us valuable insights into the human spirit, the quest for meaning, and our place within the cosmos. As always, your thoughts and interpretations enrich this dialogue, and I look forward to your reflections. Until next time, keep pondering the mysteries of the divine and the human, and what it means to be truly legendary.